Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and it's time for the Power Ranking Show, where we go through all the players that have gone up and down in the rankings this week, both in the ATP WTA rankings and also the Tennis Talk Power Rankings. And there have been some big changes because we had some big names playing last week. But let's start with the players that actually won titles last week. Four tournaments last week, two for the men, two for the women. Let's go over and see who won last week. Starting with the WTA, and we had two events on last week. The first being the Istanbul Cup in Turkey, and Potapova defeated Kudamatova in the final, 6-3, 6-1. And she got a big boost in the rankings, the regular rankings, for that win. And over in Stuttgart, Iga Sviontek, another week, another title. She defeated Sabalenka in the final, 6-2, 6-2, to win her fourth consecutive final of the year. And she's also on a 23-match win streak going into Madrid next week. Having a look at the men's champions for last week, and we had the Barcelona Open with Alcaraz defeating Carino Busta 6-3, 6-2 in the final. He's also in great form at the moment, and the power ranks will show that. And the Serbia Open, we had Rublev defeating Djokovic 6-2, 6-7, 6 love. And Rublev was already up high on the power rankings, but I can guarantee you that he got a big boost from winning this week in Serbia. Let's go take a look at the WTA rankings for this week, the regular rankings, and no real big changes. Only change on the WTA rankings was Bedosa going up to number two in the world. That's a career high for her after doing well in Stuttgart last week. And Krejcikova, she drops down to number three, having not played for a while. And over on the WTA race to the finals, Bedosa also went up to number two in those rankings with Zachary going down to number three. And at the bottom there, Kudamatova making the final in Istanbul. She goes up two spots into that number nine spot just outside the top eight cut, pushing Halep down to number 10. Some of the players that have gone up in the rankings this week on the WTA, Samson Over, making the semifinals of Stuttgart. She going up five spots, number 26 in the world. That's her career high ranking. And Potapova, after winning the Istanbul Cup, she goes up to 78 in the world, which is 44 spots higher than last week. So a couple of players doing well last week, getting the rewards in the normal rankings. And the players that have gone down in the rankings, Svetolina. She's gone down four spots to number 29 in the world after not playing for the last few weeks. And Serena Williams, she continues to fall down the ranks in her absence, going down three more spots to 248 in the world. Serena's going to have to get wild cards if she's going to play any upcoming events. Taking a look at the men's rankings now for the ATP and no changes to the majority of the top 10. The only change, Alcarez goes up two spots into number nine. He finally breaks into that top 10. And when I say finally, I think we expected this probably two, three weeks ago, but he's just dominating at the moment and he definitely deserves to be in that top 10. Pushing down Ali Asim and Nori gets kicked out of the top 10 altogether. Over at the race of the finals, no change to the top eight, even though Alcarez City Pass played last week. They're very close together, but they are still up the top, and there is no change. The only change being Schwartzman. He goes up four spots to number nine after making the semifinals of Barcelona last week, getting a lot of points for that, and pushes out her catch down to number 10. Having a look at the players that have gone up in the ATP rankings, we have Fanini. He's gone up 12 spots after making the semifinals of the Serbia Open. He's gone up to number 50 in the world. Far from his best, but still going in the right direction. And Rusevori, he's gone to a career high number 63 in the world, 10 spots higher than last week. So an old veteran going back up the ranks and a youngster getting a career high ranking this week. Some of the players gone down to the rankings. We've got Nishikori. He's gone down eight spots to number 64 in the world. And Dominic team has gone down 39 spots to 93 in the world after losing all the points from Barcelona that was hanging around from a couple of years ago. So he's going to have to start getting wild cards into these tournaments if he's going to play Dominic Team. So it's going to get tough for Team. Okay, now it's time for the Tennis Talk Power Rankings. And there haven't been too many changes this week despite a lot of players playing. But trust me, after Madrid, this could be a total different list. Starting at number 20, Simona Halep. Stays at number 20 this week, no change. She didn't play last week, so she stays where she is. Taylor Fritz stays at number 19. Her catch staying at number 18. Ostapenko, she comes in at number 17, same as last week. But Ons Jabor, after having a good week last week in Stuttgart and beating a couple of good players, she's gone into the number 16 spot, which is a first time for her in the Tennis Talk Power Rankings. So, Ons Jabor, she's into the Power Rankings for the first time ever. Coming in at number 15, we have Alexander Zverev. Now, he is playing this week, so if he has a good week in Germany this week, he could go back up the ranks, but he goes down to number 15. Osaka, she comes in at number 14, one spot lower than last week. But Annette Contivate, she goes up to number 13, which is two spots higher than last week, pushing both Osaka and Zverev down. She made it to the quarterfinals of Stuttgart last week, so that's why she's gone up 
couple of spots. Coming in at number 12 in the power rankings, Daniel Medvedev. His ranking hasn't changed because he hasn't played. Coming in at number 11, we have Ketch Manovich, who had a pretty decent week last week, but doesn't show in the power rankings, even though he did very well against Djokovic. Maybe if he'd beaten Djokovic, it would have been a little different. He could have gone back in the top 10. Coming in at number 10, we have Riley Opelka, who's dropped down two spots lower than last week. That's mainly because a couple of players have done really well in his absence and taken his spot. Coming in at number nine, Maria Zachary, who pulled out of her match in Stuttgart last week with an injury and with sickness. So she's gone down two spots due to that. Coming in at number eight, Paola Badosa. Two spots higher than last week after making it to the semifinals of Stuttgart. Coming in at number seven this week is Belinda Bencic. She's gone down one spot lower than last week after a player that's overtaken her pushed her down. At number six, we have Yannick Sinner. Down one spot lower than last week. Same reason as Bencic. The final Sydney Bass comes in at number five despite having a very good week. Had he had beaten Alcarez, he would have got a bigger reward, but but he drops down one spot lower than last week. And coming in at number four, Andre Rublev. He's gone up five spots higher than last week after getting to the final and winning the Serbia Open, beating Djokovic in that final. So after a very good week last week, and especially with that Djokovic win in that final, he gets into the number four spot. Coming in at number three for this week is Carlos Alcarez. He almost took over Rafa's spot, but... Just wasn't enough getting that win in Barcelona. He's very close to Rafa, though. But Rafa's coming back this week. There could be some changes at the top of the tree. Coming in at number two is Rafa Nadal. He stays at number two for this week. And after another title, no surprise, Iga Sviantec stays on top of the power rankings for another week. But all this could change in the next week or two because we have Madrid coming up. It's going to be a big tournament. All the players are playing who are in the top of the power rankings. So if there are some losses or if they're one of those players maybe that are in the middle of the power rankings gets the win in Madrid, they could rocket up the ranks as well. So it's going to be very interesting how the next two weeks play out in Madrid. The power rankings expect them to change. So there you have it, the power rankings and the regular rankings for another week. Great to see Paola Badosa getting to number two in the world. Massive achievement for her. And she got a reward in the power rankings for doing so well in Stuttgart. Let me know down in the comments below. Who are you most shocked about not being in the power rankings? Because there are some names missing. Where's Sabalenka? Where's Djokovic? Uh, the reason why they're not in the power rankings this week is because they've only done well at one tournament. They need to do well at a couple more tournaments this year and beat some names that maybe are in that power ranking top 10 or top 20 to do well, but you know, Sabalink is not too far away. She's playing Madrid next week. Djokovic, he's not too far away. If he can get some big wins in the next week or so, but I'm sure they'll be in the power rankings in a couple weeks' time, or in at least before the French Open. But let me know down in the comments below who are you most shocked about being in the power rankings or not being in the power rankings?